Okay, what I'm going to do now is um, reconstruct a date into a more user-friendly format that uh, SQL um, integration services will um, will like a little bit uh, more than those um, uh, native formats that are coming through from the from the source files. So what I'll do, um, I'll use a derived column uh, transformation to reconstruct these dates. So the first step is really about deconstructing the uh, what we have at the moment and then the next step is reconstructing it, then converting it into a date format. So I'm going to do uh, this um, transformation on the start date um, date, so the MM, uh, the month, 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 year, year um, column. So first of all I'm going to use a write, um, we call a a write expression, um, and all this does is take the um, right, the uh, defined number of characters from the right hand side of the column. So I'm going to, as I mentioned, I'm going to use this column, and we know that it's a year year format. So we're going to take the um, the two cells on the right hand side, and I'll call that year year. So that's fairly simple. What I'll also do um, is I want to pull out the month component. Obviously you can't use a write function for that because it's um, um, because it's not sitting on the right by itself. So I'm going to use a thing called a substring. So write functions, substrings and find strings will get you, will do most of the work you want. And I'll show you how to use a find string a little bit later on. So the substring, so what this does is it pulls out data from a defined position within a um, within a column. So I'm going to start with, obviously have to define the column. And the start point is the first cell. So this is on the left, starting on the left hand side. So it's related to the, the right, it's very similar to the right transformation, but different for in a way as well so and I want to take the three characters that follow and I'm going to call that month 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 so that's pretty easy um, obviously the column that we've got at the moment doesn't say doesn't have any um, date information in it. so we're just going to I'm just going to pretty much uh, define that myself so in a lot of cases I when I don't have day information I will just take the first day of the create uh, add the day in as the first day of the month so um, I'll just call this column date reconstructed and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create this in a format month day year so we've got the the month component already up there so I'll just copy paste that down. I'm going to concatenate a forward slash uh, to separate the um, the various components of the date format. So I'm just going to put a plus in there, then a forward slash within um, parentheses, then I'm going to add in um, 0, 01 to say we're going to take the first day of the month and then another plus, another forward slash, whoops, Another plus, and then we'll pull in the pull in the year. What well, we could, I'm actually, I'll demonstrate. If you wanted to make this a um, um, make it, I'd say a 2009 as opposed to 09, you could actually just concatenate a um, a 20 in front of the the year as well. But I won't bother doing that today. And just to clean things up, I'm going to delete these old columns I used. So at the moment, this is still in a string format. Uh, next step of the process is now that we've reconstructed it in the format that we want, is to convert it into a, um, a true date format, which we can then do you know, date differences and all sorts of useful calculations uh, on. So do a pull out a data conversion transformation connect to it. We then select the column we want. We're going to 
select a date format which I quite often use which is the um, database date format which has um, which is in the format month day year um, I'm gonna call this column date reconstructed and then I'll just say have a I'll just define what format that's in next to it just in the name so I know and then that's pretty much it so just to demonstrate that this is working I'm going to pull down a derived column transformation just to string a data viewer in there I'm going to add that data viewer I'll just configure it so own, uh, only the relevant columns are coming through so we've got the original <coughs> column and then we've got the <coughs> excuse me reconstructed column go okay and then we set this running <coughs> and this is what we end up with that looks pretty good so the original date there and the reconstructed date um, next to it brilliant